As you know, on Friday's show, we were joined by Ken Burley, uh, a sports journalist <laughs> in Dublin. Uh, delighted to say that Ken uh, is fronting up tonight well, and, has, to really and, and has joined guts. us on the Real Radio Sports phone in. Ken, good evening. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> that sounded very cheap, Mr. Burley. My real, mild mannered Ken. <laughs> Can't stop thinking about the game. Can't stop imagining what a great week it would have been in Ireland. Can't stop mentally replaying the missed kicks and the hope that this time they'll clear the post. Can't stop wishing there'd been a different referee. Can't stop thinking he should have issued a red card, not a yellow one. Can't stop questioning why he took such a short time to make such a big call. Can't help feeling his decision showed little empathy for the players, the occasion, the game. Can't yep. stop wanting to ask the ref why. Can't stop feeling yeah. sad. Robbed uh, again. Can, can, you, can, you, know, can, can you, you, you not telling me that you thought Ireland were the better side yesterday? I'm saying the game turned on a, on a very yeah. important uh, decision. No, no, that was no, later. No. The game, no, the, the game. Ken, let's be fair, that was well into the second half of the game. The game basically was, was Wales were by far the better side. Ken, you've got to admit that. Well, I thought I thought that tackle was a disgrace. And officials know that they... <laughs> what about the it, non-tackles they're on... They're going to be set upon by the entire nation. What about the non-tackles on, on George North? He kept bouncing you up. I thought you were beach balls for a couple of games. Yeah. Eh? After what happened... <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. know it's more, yeah. it's more hassle than it's worth sending a guy off. Uh, Wales have shown if you squeal long enough so, and loudly enough... So answer, this, Ken. so answer this, Ken. Penalty for Wales at the end where Halfpenny wins it with a tackle? Well, you know, I mean, I suppose these decisions can go either way. I'm still confident. I mean, I still think Ireland are favourites for this tournament. Uh, uh, the Ken, competition... Ken, you, 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 you want to be sent to the funny farm, mate. <laughs> Shadow. That's shadow. Well, that's, uh, with the greatest a respect. A shadow of respect. previous Irish teams there, there, that was yesterday. Irish should be, and uh, mm, that was yeah. a poor display. And they're going out to France, and I can't see them catching anything in France. I can. Well, look, France, France, I need to be afraid. I mean, from what I've seen, Eros is going to be back. Now, I know that Wales have gone for beef in the, in the central positions. Earls <laughs> is a little experiment in nanotechnology that we've got. And I think you're going to be impressed with the results. Well, we'll wait you and certainly see. will be. I, I'm not sure I will be. We'll wait and see. You. Ken, listen, Ken. always a pleasure to talk to you. And um, thanks for uh, putting out uh, a weekend side to, uh, to play us this weekend to ensure yeah. that we uh, get the win. So thank you very much yeah, for that. I'm you too. Us, and you too, Brooksy. I'll see you in Euro 2012. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ken, listen. All the best for the rest of the Six Nations, and uh, and thank thank you for joining us on the show, Top Man. I'm going to feed Willie John. He's starving. Absolutely.